Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Scorpio, I'm doing your reading today with the um, Tarot of Mystical Moments blended with the Oracle of Mystical Moments in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. We've got the Queen of Pentacles on the split. This card has been popping up in a lot of the readings recently. It's interesting because when cards do that and they start coming up in like every single reading and they have this very clear message attached to them that rarely has anything to do with the actual card. Um, it's like a theme. There's kind of a theme going through the readings. I want to say that's what this one is right now. It's this thread that has been tied through all the readings. Because what this card has been talking to me about is... This uh, manifestation, essentially, right? Being the queen of pentacles, it's got a strong message of manifestation, but it's got this energy of manifestation rising up around you or coming to you. Something is coming to you, which is fascinating because the rest of your reading, the cards that are already on the table here, are there's a lot of energy coming from you that is kind of projecting out like you want to be there you're looking at the future you're looking into the distance you want to be where you're not it's all this kind of future forecasting or future projection or desiring and this card is kind of talking about something coming to you where you are somebody coming to you so that's interesting and then at the bottom of the deck you've got red garden interesting this card i don't know why when i see this card i always get the strong message of envy maybe because the head is turned so sharply it's like something has caught their attention and they're envious of it i know the phrase is green with envy but for some reason this card red garden makes me think of envy but it is interesting because this one's all green but anyway so this is interesting scorpio because i want to say that the cards that are already here on the table, it's almost like you're this figure, envious of somebody else's accomplishments or uh, what is coming in for somebody else that has yet to come in for you and it's causing a bit of envy between you. I mean, it doesn't have to be as kind of tricky as envy. It could just, it could be admiration, right? It could be why it's red and pink. In fact, that's here in the reading. Um, so it could just be admiration, a desire for what they have. But I kind of want to say that as this card came out first, I want to say this is you receiving something and somebody else witnessing it. So it's almost like the table's turning from what is being depicted here on the table. So it's like it goes, it goes both ways. You're starting out in kind of this desirous, envious energy. But by the end of the reading, it's like you're the one who's going to be envied. You see what I mean? Envy is a tricky word, right? So let's pull you an overall overall energy from the dream decoder it's really muggy and humid not a lot of air in the room today so Scorpio overall energy aliens and robots this card comes up way too often. Well, I mean, it's just confirming for me that, that you want to be somewhere else. That's what this card talks about. It's like the beam me up. Beam me up, Scotty card. Get me out of here. Wanting to leave. Wanting to leave? So, fits perfectly in with your first card here, the Hermit, which I'm receiving as you detaching yourself, you being um, set apart maybe in your own mind, like feeling different from your environment, like really feeling, I don't want to say it's outcast because I feel like it's coming from you. Withdrawn. That's the word. Scorpio was with, is withdrawn from their environment is how I'm seeing it. Cause this is, you know, your family, your, your community, your whatever. And you have purposely withdrawn from that. Maybe just to get a better perspective of what's going on. It's like something in that situation is just not sitting right for you. And so you're trying to get some distance in order to perceive it more clearly with the queen of swords coming next, right? It's like you are in an elevated position perhaps, but it's more like distancing yourself. Maybe completely just within your own thoughts. Nobody else may be aware that this is going on, but Scorpio has kind of uh, removed themselves from their engagement and they are examining things very closely, trying to 
get to the bottom of things or trying to just get a broader perspective. But it seems like whilst doing that, Scorpio, something else has caught your eye. And I want to say that it is because you've taken a step back from the situation that you're in, put some distance between you and your immediate environment, it's given you this opportunity, this different vantage point to kind of see farther out and catching an eye of something, someone out there, right? Something that is not in your environment. Because I'm seeing this as you being detached and viewing this one over here, witnessing somebody in the work that they're doing, in the process that they're involved in. So you're kind of on this information gathering journey. And in that information gathering, you've stumbled upon an individual that has really kind of caught your attention. It actually seems like it's almost pulled you out of the focus. It's like you've stepped out of your situation because something wasn't right. You're trying to get to the bottom of it. You're trying to figure out why you don't feel right there, perhaps. What is going on here? And in that stepping back, you caught sight of somebody else. You wouldn't have been able to find this energy if you were still completely invested in what you were in before, right? So it was almost like an opportunity to discover this one. So I'm seeing it like this. Scorpio is taking a step back and in doing so is witnessing this one in their process. This one in their process, whatever it is they're doing, it's like you're, that maybe they're a mentor, maybe they're a teacher, just they seem to be somebody that you look up to. It could be somebody that you just admire, you find them very attractive. I want to say it has something to do with work just because, because they're gathering, right? It's like they're in the process of doing something. Whatever it is that they're doing, well, maybe you're doing it too, right? Because you're in the process of gathering information. They're in the process of gathering something as well. They're doing some sort of work that you're finding incredibly beautiful or revitalizing. It's like, it's different. It's different from what you're invested in. It's a nice, new, interesting thing to think about, which is so amazing. I've kind of stumbled into something like this recently, actually, where it's like, oh, finally something new to think about instead of just kind of like grinding the gears and solving whatever problem is, is at hand. It's like, oh, there's some, there's something fun to think about again. And so that's kind of the energy I'm getting from this. It's like this, this lovely relief from the troubles that you've been chewing on for a while and you're finding it really inspiring, right? Because the Ace of Wands coming next, it's like, I, for some reason, I really want to focus it on. It's almost like it's something that they're doing or they've gathered or they, or like I said, something that has come to them, something that they possess, something that they've created, because it's almost like you're looking at their, what they're doing or what they created. If you just look at the flowers and that itself is what's giving you this glowing feeling, right? And kind of putting you in this energy, which is a little bit of envy or desire, so whatever it is they're doing is creating a desire within you with the Ace of Wands. It's like you want to do that too. It's like you want your own thing. Whatever this flower represents, you want your own version of it. Or you want to be involved in it somehow. Right? It's like they've, they've given you a new idea perhaps. But the thing is though, it's like you see what they're doing, you admire it. Or you see them and you admire them. But... There's kind of a, a gap. There's an abyss that you that you don't see how, basically. The Four of Cups is coming next. It's like you don't see how to make it happen, right? You don't see how to make it happen. Either you don't see how to get an introduction with this person or you're kind of seeing like their final product, what they've got going on, but you don't know how they got there. It's something like that. So this Four of Cups is talking about you see what you want, but you're not sure about what to do about it. That's what this is talking about, like sitting there with questions. It's kind of a like a stall, a stalled out energy. It's just like sitting there thinking, but what do I do about that? This is lovely, but what do I do about it? It's like there's too big of a gap between where you are, your circumstances, and and whatever that is. You don't see what's in the middle is what I'm getting, which is interesting because these three cards, you don't see what's in the middle. So we've got Miss Sunshine. 
we've got this Knight of Wands, and then we've got this Long Way Home. And you can see, I think, very clearly that these two cards are very similar. And then there's this in between card. So I'm seeing that just what I was talking about. It's like you want to go to where they are, but you don't see there's some kind of hoop to jump through that you're not understanding how to solve that problem. But there's, there's a lot of other information coming through that's really fascinating to me. And it has something to do with, well, like I was saying, it's like they, they know the how and you don't. Because I want to say that what you have going on, or maybe the knowledge that you have with the sun here, and what they have going on, it, it's very similar. But it's like they've got a bigger picture. It's like there's the transportation aspect of it. You don't see, you're not sure how to make it happen. You don't know how to, to make the move, but they've already made the move, right? It's like they've got the, the transportation aspect in there. It's like making the leap, making that connection. So you're looking at them and saying, I see what you have, but how did you do it? It's something like that. And it's like you're stumped by it. So you're sitting, oh, it's so fascinating how these cards are all connected. There's a really big, there's something really big in that about, about making that leap. It's kind of actually a little bit like the grass is greener kind of thing, because I want to say that you're wanting to make this big leap towards this thing. And it to me, it doesn't appear that much different from what you already have. I mean, maybe you're attracted to it, you're drawn to it because there's a lot of your energy in it. You, you know what I mean? It resonates with you. There's a strong resonance there because there's a lot of similarities, perhaps. So that's interesting. Then there's this kind of echoing. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's something like the environment that you're in now that you've maybe stepped out of is is hurting you in some way is what i want to say and so the, the it's the escape you're wanting to escape okay because look look at how much these cards echo and look at look at these cards too i'm seeing a lot of echoing energies so you're witnessing what they're doing and it's just putting all of this hope within you right with the white rose of hope they're giving you hope it's like they've solved this problem or they've gained this abundance or whatever it is. They got it. Somebody accomplished what you wish to accomplish and it's giving you a lot of hope. It's really making you feel good actually witnessing them. It's the distance from it. It's from where you are. This is a desiring card for me. This two of wands. It's like dreaming, daydreaming, longing. So, and the reason is because the place where you are now is becoming really uncomfortable for you. And so you think that this is the answer, this is the solution, or because you can clearly see, maybe they've come from a similar situation from you. It's like they've, they've bridged this gap. They've already made it. How did they do it? It's like this um, growing urgency within you to solve this problem because your current situation is becoming more and more com uncomfortable. That's what I've been getting with this card. Actually, I've been getting this kind of sense of almost like reality, maybe it's the third dimension, reality, your life, your circumstances kind of closing in on you and becoming more and more uncomfortable and actually getting to the to a point where it's it's wounding you or making you sick even. It's just, it's, it's like you're starting to come to the awareness that you're going to need to leave, but the process of leaving is actually damaging to you because it's like trying to extract yourself from a thorny bush, right? It's like there's going to be some pain in that extraction for you. So it's almost like you're kind of in, you're in the midst of that. You're in the midst of an extraction from your current environment. You have a sense of where you're going, but you have no idea how to get there. And there's like this guiding light that you found in the process that is giving you hope. Right. But in the, interesting, I'm saying that actually the guiding light, the queen of wands. This is interesting to me, though, because this card today is coming through almost like a dream. Like you've seen something in your dream, which is interesting because that's what these two cards are kind of pointing to for me. With the like, it's like you're you're seeing this person. 
you're coming across some phenomenon in your life that's really causing you a lot of hope and it's like you're it's with you even in your sleep and it's giving you these dreams right the, these kind of dream glimpses of what's to come what other possibilities there are so this is looking like a dream to me it's like you've seen this in a dream it could be why you've locked on to this energy so much actually because Maybe you dreamt it before you saw it. That's interesting. I wanted to say it was the other way around. I want to say that it's interesting because there's this turning tables energy in your reading. I want to say that you've dreamt, you've dreamt something and now you're kind of on the lookout. It's like you're scanning the world, scanning the environment, waiting to see it actually a mirrored in your in your environment, a sign, the green light, the go ahead, this is it, this is what I dreamed, this is what I was looking for. So it's like you're waiting for that. So, so that could be the bridge that we're talking about. It's like you've had a vision or you've had a dream, but you don't know how to make it happen and you're waiting for some kind of sign from the environment for the, for the manifestation to reflect back to you what you've dreamed so that you know what to do next. It's like, once I see it, then I'm going to know what to do. So you're waiting for that moment. But there was also this interesting turning of the message here where that is part of the reason why you are so drawn to this process or person or location is because it, because you dreamt it before you witnessed it. So in a way it is, it is kind of a sign of manifestation rising up to meet you perhaps. And I want to say, it's like, you you already know that you're, you're saying, yes, yes, it is. I do see it as a sign because I saw it before I saw it. I saw it in my dreams before I saw it in reality. And so this is kind of the moment that I've been waiting for, but then it wants to bring me back to this. There's something here about where you are and where you're wanting to go and the similarities between the two. There's a lot of similar, it's like the, where you're wanting to go. It's almost like it has a lot of your own energy already in it. So you're waiting for this sign from this person. It's almost like, when are they going to notice me? When are they going to turn in my direction? And when they do, when this opportunity comes my way, I will, it will be time to go and I'll know what to do. Because I mean, maybe you're, because you're waiting for an acknowledgement or you're waiting for an invitation. But I want to say just because of all the moths, swirling around this it's just it's coming through as a dream that it's that it's a dream message that you got and there may be something about the okay it's something like the dream and then the reality and you're trying to bridge the two and there's something like that there's not as big of a gap or there's not as much of a difference between these two places as you think there are so it's like your dream, your inner landscape or your dream or your vision. It's like, you're just so wanting to make it happen or to be there. But it's like, it's almost like you are there already. Something like that. There's something about making that connection. It's like when you actually do see it, what you think you're seeing now in this phenomenon out there somewhere, it might not be exactly what you think it is. It's not what you think it is because it's closer. Things are closer than they appear. Something like that because of this, it rising, it's coming to meet you. It's rising up around you. I don't know exactly what that means. I feel like somebody's going to know what I'm talking about here, but there's definitely a message of things are not quite what they seem. You kind of already know that. And it's the reason why you're stepping out of like taking a, a breather, withdrawing from your environment because you're trying to figure that out. But whatever's kind of caught your eye about possible solution, whatever possible way out, escape plan, rescue plan, it's like there's something about it that's not what it seems. And it almost like, I don't know if it wants to put it back on you, but it definitely wants to kind of bring it closer in to like, 
to where you are. It's like something like don't look so far out, something like that. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extent and see what else I can pull about this. But I do want to say the big strong message here is something about grass is greener. Things are not exactly what they seem. And that it's almost like you already have much more than you think you do. It's something like that. So um, the link to the extended is in the description. And I'll see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks. Bye.